Hey everybody, this is Will Masher, and welcome back to episode number three of my Timber and Stone Let's Play. Uh, I know I was gonna I was gonna come back during the day, but uh, I've decided not to. What I've done is I've got my carpenter uh, building some fires around here, so we can have a little bit more light. Uh, there's gonna be one here and one here. I've got our farmers farming. I've got our miners mining out some uh, some grass here, some dirt. They finished over here with what I had them starting on, and. Uh, now they're going to kind of square this out a little bit for me, so maybe I can build a little hut in here. Uh, probably just in this area. Not really a hut, but, you know, some kind of little hall with a table and whatever fancy stuff I desire to put in there. At which point they're going to get started on their mine over here. Uh, but that is going to be in a little bit. So these guys are just mining, or sorry, just farming away. Lazy over here. I had to tell him to equip himself with a hammer because he just wasn't doing anything. So was one of these guys. One of these guys here were just being completely lazy and not playing. Not playing at all. So I really need a fisherman because I find that they're the best uh, source of food. I don't start up a uh, I don't start up a map without having water on it. So that's how much I like having food, guys. I've been considering, if you come over here, there's a little bit of water here. Right by our forager, actually. Look at that. So we have water here. I was considering building, like, a a room here that he can't, can't get out of to fish in. I mean, I could do the same thing over here, I guess. But just make a room that nothing can, that he can't get out of and nothing else can get into. And then I wouldn't have to worry about him dying. And all he could do is fish, fish, fish. Constantly and forever. Keeping us supplied with tasty, yummy food for in our mouth holes. There's a lot of clear cutting going on here, but it's all gonna grow back. It's just a slow process as it as it happens to, to be. And I forget how many carpenters do we have? Or sorry, which hoppers? There's one, Kirk Cameron, and Jen's Road Muller. Road Muller. Or something. And he's having a nap. So uh, Simmond has leveled up, and uh, Neil's stone pickaxe is broken. So, oh, we've got stuff growing here. This one's wheat. I forget what I put here. I don't know. I don't know what the heck that is. That's that's something. These guys are both working on the same uh, crop there. Simmons mines five dirt. Good job, Simmons. Why aren't you doing anything? Come on, guys. Are you all done? You're not done. Oh, I think they are done. Huh. They are done. So they won't mine over road. I did not know that. Uh, let's have them get back over here, I think, now. Let's get this going. Dig and mine. Right here. Let's go that much. And I don't want those ones done, though. So we'll stop that. You, over here. You too. Get over there. Oh, I've got some animal hair now. I wonder if I am able to make... Can I make some rope? Oh, I have two ropes now? Is that right? I think I have two rope, which means I should be able to make a fishing pole. I can. Let's put that in the queue. I'm going to put two in there, even though I can only make one. And we are going to turn somebody here into a fisherman. And that will be, I believe I have two foragers. Harry. Harry is forager number one. He's a level two forager. And I think there's another one. Francis. He's a level four forager. So let's keep him doing that. And let's check on... This feller, he is, oh, also level three fisherman. Well, good stuff, sir. Let's make you a fisherman. Get you way over here. Come on, get over here. There we go. Right over here, sir. You will be my best fisherman friend. Gathers fish for food. Yes, he does. And he now has a fishing pole. I have two fishing poles. 
Do I really? I didn't think I had enough stuff to make all that. Shows what I know. Huh, I do have one more, I think. Awesome. Come on, fisherman, where are you? He's somewhere. These guys are working as a team. So that's nice. This guy's being lazy as usual. As per usual. I wish that you could have uh, characters or settlers that automatically switch between traits or trades. So, you know, maybe he's a part time carpenter, but when he's not carpentering, then he could be mining. <clears throat> That'd be great. Uh, and of course, you would, every time he changes, he would lose the skills that he has associated to himself. But that means you could always have one guy or two or three guys who are low levels that just kind of switch between everything as they're needed. So you never have something in the queue that isn't being worked on. That'd be fantastic. So where's that? Where's that fisherman? <clears throat> there he is. He's getting close to fishing. That's good. Fishing takes a while to level up, so it's nice that he's a level three already. I don't think we have any uh, monsters around yet. But let's just take a look. I know it's probably really dark. You guys might not be able to see, but uh, mobs tend to spawn, I find, near roads. I don't know if that's an actual thing or not, but they tend to spawn in areas like this. And they also tend to spawn in corners of the map, which I believe is a true thing for sure. And at the moment, I don't see any, so that's good. I don't see any little encampments or anything like that. No little goblin fires anywhere, so that's lovely. Skeletons I don't mind so much. They're usually pretty easy to kill, but they still tend to uh, kill my kill my settlers every once in a while. Oh, well, you're standing right in the water, I think. You are fishing hardcore. Mr. Hardcore Hardcore Harry. That's your name, Hardcore Harry. Let's, can we change that? Can we change names in this? I'm pretty sure you can. I am gonna name you Hardcore Harry. Where do you change his name, man? Harry. There we go. Hard. Hard care. <laughs> Hardcore Harry. There you go. Hardcore Harry. Level 3 fisherman. Hopefully you never die. We'll come up with names for all these guys at some point. Well, maybe not all of them. I kind of like Philippe. That's a that's a good name. Robert. That's okay. Augustine. Robert Augustine. That's not a bad name. Oh, God, stop being a napper, man. God, you guys suck. Why you need to sleep, bro? Look at this. You're, just, you're leaving poor Miner Simmond here to just uh, dig away all by himself, Neil, because you're lazy. I think it's Neil. Is that right? Neely? Neil? Nell? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'll call him Neil. Works for me. So, next they are going to dig and mine uh, the next row right there. Hey, look at that. He woke up. Woke up to start. Oh, no. I clicked on him. Woke him up. So he's going to be all cranky about it now. This hovering brick is really bothering me for some reason. I'm losing my voice here, guys. I'm sorry. My throat, hopefully that helps a little bit. Our fire's gone out. Oh, crap. No, get back over here. Stop being lazy. Add two logs to the fire. Okay. This episode is now over. We have no new uh, migrants this time. By the looks of things, which is probably okay, although we are still gathering food at a pretty pretty good rate, so I could probably pull in another couple settlers here. If that farm starts working out soon, that'll be fantastic. And if we can get another fisherman going, that's gonna be even better. Uh, where are my roads here? There it is. Yeah, so I'm not seeing any any settlers coming in. So guys, we are gonna end this episode right here. Uh, 
our our crew of what do we have now? We have six, seven, eight, or nine. I think we have like nine guys. Let's see. Let's let's go ahead and select Mr. Sleepy Sutton here. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, only really? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six? Don't you start off with six guys? That's that's weird. Have people died? I'm I'm confused. Episode is over. My head is exploding. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you on episode number four.